Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Excuse me. It's an early morning for me. Um, hope you guys are doing good this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the airborne update and the slow TV. I know I did. Um, I really needed to uh, get away. And uh, that really, really fit the bill. Um, so this week we'll, we'll return to a little technical content. I'll talk about a, uh, an issue we had last week. Um, we had a, we have a website that users go to, and I don't even know what they do there, but the, it, the website's not public on the internet. It's hosted with a, uh, a partner. And so what I was getting reports is users on some of our subnets could get there users on other subnets couldn't so, okay so i started investigating and uh, yeah sure enough i found out that uh, the subnet i was on couldn't get there but if i moved myself over to another sub subnet i could get there so that was interesting i did some some research and didn't get anywhere and okay well we'll we'll pick it up the next day so next day I go back and I'm told, well, you know, at like 7.30, uh, starting at 7.30, no one could get in at all. What did you do? I haven't done anything. I haven't, I'm just researching so far. So I get in there, um, try to take a look at what's going on. And, well, let me show you. I did some screenshots. I'm not going to show you my actual firewall. Sorry. Um, but I did do some screenshots. So let me get that up here and running. Uh, there we go, share screen, and I want to share this, boom. Okay, let's take it from the top. So what I was seeing, let me zoom in a little bit, make it easier for you guys to see, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, well, we'll do our best here. So right up here at the very top, you see this CMC QTS tunnel. When I would look at it, you know, normally you would see green, green like this. You know, the the, the tunnel is up, uh, Ike is up. And what I was seeing when I looked at it was the tunnel was up, but Ike was down, just like you see here in this second line. Um, and I thought that was, well, that's interesting, but I knew traffic, some traffic was flowing over the tunnel. Um, but not all. So when I would click on the tunnel, so you can click on this tunnel info over here. You can click on this link and it'll bring up info about the tunnel. And what I was seeing is this guy down here, NG prod. That was the only thing that was up. You, none of these other networks were showing up at all. So, and traffic was passing for this guy, but these guys couldn't get through. I go, heck. I hate VPNs. I don't. I don't even know how I'm going to be. And it begin to troubleshoot this. So, I uh, I got into the command line of this thing. It's it's primarily uh, like a GUI type of firewall. It's Palo Alto firewall. Um, but I got into the command line of it because for me it's just easier to find. Uh, sorry, man. I'm just I'm just itchy today. Um, it's easier for me to find uh, logs from the command line than it is from the. Um, from the uh, GUI. So I get into the logs, get down here, and this is what I'm seeing. Phase one negotiation failed. And this is this is coming from Ike. Um, it's just, it's not happening. So uh, I get with the other guy, the, uh, the guy that manages the vendor, the firewall down there, the other vendor. And I show him this, and he's like, well, I don't know. We haven't made any changes. I said, we haven't made any changes either. Uh, so can we get on a call and troubleshoot this? So he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll open up a, uh, I'll open up a case with our vendor. Uh, this is a Cisco Meraki firewall that he has. And I said, okay, cool. And I haven't dealt with Cisco Meraki much, but uh, what he tells me is it's what they can do in it is fairly limited. It's, um, I don't know, I've never been in it. So, but I, I believe him, I trust him. I said, okay. 
So we get on this call and we're describing what's going on. I'm telling them, well, I, we, Ike's not coming up. Um, and what we were seeing is that only this guy could get through. None of these other networks could get through. There's actually more networks than this. This is all that's up this morning. And, the, and I'll get to why that's the only one that's up. But, well, I'll get to it now. The only reason you see um, three other networks up is they're, they're the only ones that's passing interesting traffic at the moment. Um, so a lot of times these associations won't even happen if there's no traffic going back and forth between them. So anyway, um, so here's the tunnel. I'm looking at it and going, okay, well, I haven't made any changes to the Ike gateway. I haven't made any changes to the crypto profile. I uh, don't know why this would be happening. So they get on there and we're looking at things and we're comparing the uh, proxy IDs. Palo Alto, it's called a proxy ID. On the Cisco side, it's an access control list. You'll see some of this is redacted because I don't want you guys poking around in my network. Um, and these are all the different um, ACLs we have set up between us and them. So we. We have network A, B, C, D, and E can get there. We have a prod and a test server that has to get to them. And uh, th these two down here, uh, SJHC, network A and B, those are our clinics that are uh, somewhere else, not on this site. They have different subnets. So we set up some subnets for them. So if all traffic is passing from all of these subnets up here, you would see a line for each one of those subnets right here. And when we were troubleshooting, we only saw the one for prod. So something was up. So Cisco Meraki guy, he, that he got online, the uh, guy's product support from Cisco, got on the line. He's checking things out. And um, he says, uh, well, can we check the Ike profiles? So we get into the Ike profiles. We're going through a check-in. This is this is how I'm set up. That's how they were set up. Saying, well, dang, this should be working. I agree, it should be working. Um. So then, uh, th then this is what ended up being the key. He goes, "Well, we're using Ike V1," and that's what this said right down here. It just said Ike V1. Didn't say Ike V2 preferred mode. It said Ike V1. And uh, I said, "Yeah, we've." we've that's the way it's been since the start. He goes, uh, it's kind of, it's deprecated. Uh, we're really not suggesting it for use with our firewalls. That kind of tipped me off that maybe the the vendor hadn't made a change, but Cisco had made a change and then rolled it out to their Meraki's. <clears throat> so anyway, just one second. A little phlegmy this morning. Um, so what we did is we changed Ike V1 to Ike V2, and we changed it to preferred mode. So well, let's see, that's preferred. Um, we can bump back down into Ike V1 if we have to, but we would prefer Ike V2. So we set that up. Pretty sure key didn't change, that was the same. Um, so then you have um, check the advanced options, everything was the same. Using the same crypto profile, cool. We um, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? We applied to the firewall. It's really early. Sorry, guys. We applied to the firewall, and the tunnel will not come up. So uh, from the command line, I can try to force it up. There's a test VPN, Ike gateway, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember the whole command. And it will try to force the tunnel up. What was it happening? It was getting that same error message I just showed you a few minutes ago. Like, what the heck? And then my boss said, uh, well, you didn't do Ike V2. You, um, you have to change it there. It's like, okay. Here's one thing I don't understand about Palo Alto. Um, if you change to Ike V2, then why isn't it just using the crypto profile? Any, anyway, I'm sure they have very good reasons for that. So I go over and I click on Ike V2 and then set the exact same crypto profile. Exact same crypto profile but I set it under Ike V2. Okay, we apply these changes to the firewall and uh, that's the end of my document. So as you can tell, everything came up and uh, the tunnel then looked like 
Oops, where'd my cursor go? Come on, get up there. The uh, firewall, or the tunnel then looked like what you see here. Green, green, we like that. And all of these subnets down here that, were, that are defined, all of these were able to get to this remote site, this remote website. Um, yeah, that, so this is a very integral part of my job, and I have to be honest that firewalls are not my forte. Um, that's why I get a lot of people asking, you know, hey, I want to be a network administrator. What should I study? Study security, study firewalls, know them and understand them. I'm largely self-taught. I've been to a few classes on Palo Alto Firewall um, like three, four years ago, and they teach you the basics, but it, uh, it's not a whole lot of real world stuff happens in, in those classes. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want a piece of advice, learn firewalls, learn them, understand how they work. And uh, this, the routing and switching will come pretty easy after that. So anyway, that was my issue last week. It's resolved. Every subnet you see here can now get to that website. The prod server is still able to get exchange data with their, their server over there. And uh, all looks, all is, everyone's happy now. So that's what I got for this week. Um, hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it informative. This, like I said, this isn't a how-to. This is just what I do in my job. So if you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell if you so desire. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm good with either way. And um, Everybody keep praying for one another. Sam Jones is saying he's doing better, and he thanks everyone for the prayers. And so that's great. That should encourage everybody that uh, prayer actually works. So that's all for this week, guys. We'll catch you next time. God bless. And where'd Zoom go? Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Okay, let's see. You can watch me struggle with Zoom. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Bye. No, this time I really mean it. Bye.